So for this video, for this very brief video, I would like to talk about Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, the realm's delight, and why I don't think it was a very good idea for her to cheat on her husband and produce three bastard boys to pass off as her trueborn sons and heirs. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Some argue the affair was necessary. Her husband, Laenor Valarian, failed to do his duty in the marriage bed. Laenor was known to surround himself with handsome squires of his own age. When King Viserys told Rhaenyra who her husband was to be, she replied with, My half-brothers would be more to his taste. Try as he might, Laenor was not beating the allegations. So, it is argued that Rhaenyra had to produce heirs. It was her royal duty. She would be queen, and a queen must needs have heirs. Heirs of her own body and blood. So, if Laenor wasn't putting it down as he should have been, Rhaenyra had to get it elsewhere. Except, no, she didn't. Rhaenyra quite literally did not have to have an affair so that she could have children to pass off as Laenor's. The stipulation of her inheritance stated she must marry Laenor, and that's it. Marry him, and the throne would still be hers. The affair was all due to Rhaenyra's own promiscuity. Now, hold the door. Don't get me wrong. Rhaenyra should have been able to have her own bastards if she wanted. Men in the realm do it all the time. Rhaenyra should have just been able to acknowledge their bastardy and move on. Or just not have the kids at all. Because, my, my good sis, you know what rhymes with plan B? Moon tea. Get yourself a gallon. Buy in bulk. What are you doing? Alright, let's hop on the magic school dragon and go on a trip through history. And now let me introduce you to Queen Elizabeth I. She was one of England's longest reigning monarchs. And her reign, it was incredibly successful ushering in what some would call the golden age of progress in England. Before I continue, let me state I'm not a historian, I'm not a student of history, so if the golden age is actually problematic in some way, don't come for me. I'm just pointing out what it's called. There's a movie about it. Anyway, Elizabeth, the, the famous thing about her that we know of, she never had children. Elizabeth was known during her time as the Virgin Queen. The good Queen Bess, as she was also sometimes known, spent her reign ducking and dodging marriage proposals from all corners of the globe. Not only did she not produce an heir, she refused to name one. She knew that if she named an heir while she was still alive, that's when the trouble would start. The heir could be used as a political pawn against her. If she chose a husband, that could lead to trouble as well. Her consort might fancy him the real king, the real power, and she didn't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So if the real Queen Elizabeth can be used as any example, it is possible for a monarch in a precarious position of power to reign successfully without having a husband or an heir. More importantly, in Rhaenyra's case, without having an heir. So, if you think Rhaenyra had to have an affair and lie about the paternity of her children, no, she didn't. Her father, King Viserys, said she had to wed to remain his heir, not that she had to have children. It's not even implied that Rhaenyra had Jaceres, Lucerys, and Joffrey out of a sense of duty. It appears she lied about the paternity of her children to hide her affair, which would have been treason. This would have ruined her chances at inheriting the throne. She did this to ensure they would inherit the throne after her, which is exactly what Cersei did. What Rhaenyra should have done was move politically like Elizabeth did. It is believed Elizabeth did have affairs of her own, but she made sure to keep them all on the down low. Rumors may have followed her, but no bastards. At least, no confirmed bastards. Because that's another thing, Rhaenyra, if you had to have kids, don't lie and say they're yours, lie and say they're somebody else's. Go to Summer Hall, hide, wear big gowns, or never get out of bed, never leave your room, and when that baby comes, that's your servant's baby, you don't know nothing about that. It doesn't look like you, no silver gold hair, no purple eyes, let them know, you don't know nothing about that. But back to the Iron Throne being an arbiter of truth. 
when several members of House Valarian petitioned King Viserys to speak to him about the alleged bastardy of Rhaenyra's children, he has their tongues torn out. He cuts his hand on the throne while giving his judgment, slicing the skin to the bone. This wound becomes infected and causes him to lose two fingers. Martin uses this moment to show us the reader Viserys was wrong to maim people for speaking the truth. None of Rhaenyra's sons with Harwin survive. All her three bastard sons die during the dance. It's her sons with Daemon, the ones we can be sure are trueborn Targaryens, that become kings. We've seen this happen before, during the blood betrayal. When the Bloodstone Emperor usurped the throne from his sister, the Amethyst Empress, what followed was the Long Night. Because when lies are allowed to proliferate, chaos and disorder spreads, humanity becomes faithless, and harmony is shattered. It's only in this weakened state humanity is vulnerable to assault, which is why cold supernatural forces descend upon Yi Ti and their Golden Empire. It is perhaps one of the reasons why the others are back in Westeros. But alright, you can't unring that bell. Rhaenyra did have three bastard children. She was busting it down for Harwin Strong. How could she have dealt with this issue as queen or before? Like I said, acknowledge their bastardy. That is the best thing she could do. Rhaenyra should have acknowledged their bastardy and disinherited them. That could have caused a lot of problems, but that is so much better than trying to place lies on the Iron Throne. Because all we have to do is look towards the dance to see how effective those lies were in the end. But let me know in the comments what you think. Was Rhaenyra's lies necessary or was she just trying to cover her tracks? And for anyone wondering, for anyone that has any doubt, Martin confirmed it himself. They are indeed bastards. Rhaenyra's relationship with Harwin Strong, um, she had three children by him. There's a whole story there. Um, we, we simply did not have the time to tell it, and it did not fit the format of my history books. Do you think she could have ruled wisely and justly as queen without having heirs of her own? Tell me your thoughts. Also, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications. Thanks to the following channel members and Patreon supporters. Consider signing up yourself. Memberships go for as little as $1 a month. But if you choose not to and you've gotten this far to the end of the video, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you all for the next one.